something magical happens, something that's beyond words, something that allows you to touch the mystery, that has you feel eternal. Om, the meaning of Om, the sound of Om, the meaning of Om, the sound of Om is, uh, for me, it's like this uh, sound of the soul waking up. Ah is the waking state, hopefully the one you're in now. Is that, are you, are you all awake? Okay. And then Oo is that, de- is that dream state. And you know oftentimes when you're dreaming, you're still kind of thinking about things. Sometimes you know you've dreamt, but you wake up and you don't remember it. And then mmm is that deep, deep, deep sleep state. Uh, And yoga is like an invitation to be awake for that deep sleep state. The ah, ooh, mmm, creating the sound of mmm through the palate. Ah, ooh, mmm. By chanting om, you touch what's eternal, what's infinite. And so here's this this experience in that moment, because we feel finite, we feel uh, limited. But when we chant OM, there's this feeling of like unlimited, infinite, boundless, vast, right? And that's really what cosmic means when they call it the cosmic sound. It means vast, like you grow your world and your life get bigger, right? Before I came to these practices, my world was much smaller. And then yoga made it bigger. And OM is that sense of like, that we're part of something bigger, much bigger than our mind can even come up with. Like, even the Vedas say like, your mind can take you to the end of wisdom, but then there's what happens after that. I feel like that's OM before and OM after, that you're taken past where the mind can even go. And that's why it awakens that, that timeless memory of who you really are. For me, it's a feel-good thing. Like, chanting OM feels good. I also feel like I link with all the lineages everywhere and all my teachers I've ever had and all the t- future teachers to be. There's a beautiful uh, quote from a, like a, a Zen teacher that says, that I've always loved, that enlightenment is about being more intimate with all things and all beings. And I feel like in those OMing, vibrating, and uplifting and deeply soulful vibrations that we share that we're re- there's an intimacy that's so sweet and so beautiful and it feels like the mind gets out of the way the ego I'm like whispering about it the ego moves away and we make that leap that can be long from the head to the heart <laughs> doesn't look that far yogis but all of a sudden, the mind can't get in on the OM. The mind's like, OM happens, and the mind is like, there's no place for the mind in OM. So boom, you drop into your heart. So it really is a way to awaken the heart to its truest loving nature. Chanting OM is plugging into spirit. It's plugging into a spiritual life so that you can, you can even ask yourself, hey, how is my spiritual condition today? Will OM, will OM be the thing that does it? No, no, there's usually like a a sacred toolbox, but OM's a big one. (laughs) It's a big one. And that's why I feel like we're we're all in the OM lab. We're all creating and, you know, ah, ooh, and am is also creation, preservation, destruction. So you've got the deities of creation, you know, Brahma and Vishnu and Shiva. And every time you chant it, it's a new beginning. It's like when you, by the time you've ended your yoga class in Shavasana, it's a, it's a whole day has transpired. And then it's a new beginning when you come up to sit. So the meaning of it is really what you decide, like when Joseph Campbell says, what's the meaning of life? And he, and he says, there is no meaning. You give it meaning. Life has no meaning. You give life meaning. Whatever you're devoted to, chanting OM will deepen your devotion to and whom you ever, whoever you love, whatever you're devoted to, chanting and raising the vibration in your being, in your spirit, on every level, will deepen and highlight the love that you have for what you believe in. 
Om is like a forklift, babe. It's like a spiritual forklift. You know, Om comes in, our day beats us down, things are, you know, you Om and boom. You know, it is like literally like a forklift. It's like lighting the candle. Like Rumi says, no amount, you know, like d let darkness be your candle. Like yogis are not afraid of the dark, right? We go through the dark to find the light. Om is the light. Om keeps it lit. We're like Krishna's flute where we allow the sound to move through us. It's being chanted all the time. It's when we make that choice to say, I'm going to allow the sound to move through me. I'm going to be part of the universe. I'm not separate. Like when I said Krishna opens his mouth, and what does he see in there? What does she, his mother see? The entire universe. We forget sometimes that we, are, we have the whole universe inside of us. There's nothing that is not us. We are the universe. Chanting Om just kind of awakens that memory that we are intimately woven, connected, brothers, sisters, lovers. <laughs> lovers, we're lovers. We are all, chant Om and you will remember that we are all lovers. We just have to chant it more often. Wait, 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 I have a body but I'm a soul. I have a body but I am a soul. My soul is infinite. Om is that reminder.